Good morning, Nettie Owens here with Sapari Solutions and the Creating Momentum program. And it is, wait for it, it's Magic Monday. It's the best day of the week. It's the opportunity that we have to start fresh, infuse magic into our week, to not begin with mania and manic and craziness and all of that stuff, but an opportunity to slowly decide and plan for what this week is going to look like for you. And not only this week, but we're getting to the end of the year, we're getting to the end of the month, we're getting to this opportunity to refresh and restart. And it can seem like really crazy and panicked at this point in time. And I was thinking this morning, how nice it would be um, to work with business owners next year in an effort to take off at least the last two weeks of the year, at least. So starting last Friday, that would have been your last day, and right now you'd be on vacation. So if that sounds really good to you, I'd love to see a thumbs up because I would love to work with a group of business owners who would like to learn how to take off a large portion of the end of the year right when other people are like scrambling to get things done and pushing out all new things and trying to make the most of the last bit of the season. And I mentioned this to a friend of mine and he said, well, you could do that except if you're in retail. And I would challenge that a little bit and maybe we'd have to shift, you know, if, if really, really, truly you could not take the last three weeks, or two weeks of the year off or it would cause major you know, issues for you. Um, maybe we shift and just say, okay, but we take the first two weeks of the year off entirely. What would that look like for you? I would love to see a thumbs up, a little heart, whatever it would take. Would you like to be in a group of people who takes time off at the end of the year, right when everyone else is just getting crazy and hectic and all this kind of stuff? And this is coming from, I just went on a retreat um, with Victoria Whitfield, and it was called the Winter Rebirth Retreat. It was absolutely amazing, and I'm so, so glad that I went. I'm so glad that I went in the middle of all sorts of craziness. So it's not for us, for my family, it's not just the holidays, but my husband on Friday will be defending his dissertation in order to, to apply for his... PhD, it's really the last step um, before, you know, he gets responses back and then he can turn in, um, hopefully, his paperwork and receive his PhD. This is uh, something that he's been working towards for the last 10 years, so it's really, really a big deal. Um, so we're working on that and we celebrate Christmas, so we're getting ready for that. And, um, and, you know, school's kind of wrapping up before this winter break. So there's just a lot of stuff going on. And um, it was a strange time to just stop everything and go into, um, into complete digital shutdown and quiet rest and all of this kind of stuff. And one of the things that I saw was um, during my time of meditation, I saw a tree. And the tree was without leaves. It was a dark, large, probably like an oak tree, you know, but, or maybe a beech. Purple beech was always my tree. Like that was always the one that I, uh, I love the look and feel of that tree. So let's imagine, okay, it's a purple beech tree. You can totally Google this and see what a purple beech tree looks like. So big, strong trunk reaching up into the sky and it's silhouetted, right? It's a dark tree against a winter sky and no leaves on the branches. But, but what's important to remember about this tree is it is not dead. Even though there's no leaves, so you can't see the abundance, right, on the tree, it's not that visual um, expression, um, it's not dead. And what's happening inside is it's gathering uh, nutrients and sugars are being developed in its trunk and it's refreshing and rejuvenating. And I can just imagine this flow that's coming up through the tree, that's coming up through the tree. And then once winter has passed, so this three months of 
dormancy and rest happens, then that first warm temperature, right? If anybody's familiar with maple sugaring, right? That first warm temperature, it has to freeze and then it warms up and you can tap the tree because the sugars just shoot through the tree, right? I'm so glad you're in Kate. Hi, good morning. Hey, Crystal. Good to see you here. And so it's got to take this time. It's got to take this quiet time to recharge and rejuvenate so it can just push all of those nutrients up through the tree and burst forth in the spring with leaves, with flowers, with, with all of this show of abundance. And it can be ready for that. The problem that we have right now is number one, we don't let go. We don't let those leaves fall. We don't let them drop. We hold on to them. We're like, well, we might need that one day. And this could be with your stuff. It could be with your time. It could be with the products that you're offering. It could be with your services. We can't let that go. We can't let that customer go. We can't let this time go. We can't let that go because we're just going to hold on tight. So we never let go of those leaves, even though they're dead and they want to fall off. And then when they've fallen off, instead of allowing ourselves to rejuvenate, we're like, push, 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 got to put the leaves out, got to put the leaves out. But there's no energy left, right? There's no nutrients left. We haven't given ourselves time to build up that sugar store so that we can push that through and make the leaves. So we come up with these impotent kind of dwindly leaves because we're anemic. We haven't, we haven't given them any energy. And so, and then we just get in this cycle of, of not allowing the cycle to happen. So we've gotten into this pattern, I guess is a better way of saying it, of not allowing that process that is, you know, refresh and restore and then growth and abundance and then letting go of what's not working and then resting and restoring and just having this beautiful flow. So that's the magic, right? The magic is knowing that it's cyclic in nature, that it's always going to come back around, that even though right now you're in this process of letting go and slowing down and refreshing, it's not going to be forever. Your tree's not dead. Your tree is, it, it needs this time. And then it's going to refresh and rejuvenate and spring forth, spring forth, hello, and, and you like notice the words here, right? Spring forth in that time period, which is appropriate and ready for it to, to show the abundance, to grow. This is not a growth season. So Crystal, I'm so excited that you said this. You're not taking any classes, no workshops for the last two weeks of 2018, but planning and organizing, clearing out the dead undergrowth, doing those things that are going to refresh you. I've spent a lot of time recently kind of focused on, um, I don't know if you're familiar with the term, but hygge, right? This is this Danish um, art of, uh, or cultural process where it's not just cozy, but surrounding yourself with love and light and family and warm feelings. And what I noticed was in that busyness, in that time that was growth and, and, you know, uh, springing forth, all of that, in that time that was even letting go, I wasn't focusing on surrounding myself with the things that were going to refresh and energize me. So that's what I've been doing. And I would love to work with some business owners who want this kind of cycle to allow for mm -hmm. maximum productivity, truly maximum productivity, because you're giving yourself the space to refresh and come back around and then grow really, truly tremendously. Um, and I only teach these things, which I need to hear too. So I love this you know, opportunity to walk you through a process um, that I'm working on myself. It's never a done kind of thing. It's always something that you're, you're gaining uh, more wisdom on and more truth and understanding in. So um, to that end, uh, I am working on um, a planning retreat that comes up at the end of January. And I'll be sharing some more details. I know I keep alluding to this and it's definitely going to come out, but the sugars are still, you know, coming up. And I, I, what I want for you is I don't want this to be a time of brushing and thinking that you have to add anything more to your plate. So um, 
I just want you to know that it's available and I'll be sharing more information. And if you're interested in learning more about it, um, in order that you can spring forth in the spring and give yourself this time of rest, just let me know. You can just private message me or message me here if you're interested in learning more about the planning retreat that's coming at the end of January. I think we focus too much at this time of year on pushing and planning and adding and all of that kind of stuff when it's naturally meant to be a time of letting go and slowing down and surrounding yourself with comfort. So that's the magic for this week. I want you to think about how can you add more comfort and magic around you. Until next week, bye-bye.